Hi everyone, this is Bethany and welcome to this episode of Ask Disney Programs. Today we are covering all that you need to know to apply to the Disney College program from the application, timelines, and how long the process will take. We even have some tips and some advice to share with you. So first, we're gonna kick things off with introductions. Like I said, I'm Bethany, and I did the Disney College program in fall 2014, where I worked parade audience control at Magic Kingdom. Today, I am a communication specialist supporting Disney programs. And now I'm gonna introduce you to our first guest, Brittany, tell us about yourself. So my name's Brittany. Um, I did the college program in the spring of 2011 where I worked at the front desk at Saratoga and Old Key West. Uh, currently, I'm a recruiter with Cortland with college and international programs. That's awesome. Hey Cortland, tell us about yourself. Hi, so I am Cortland. I um, did the college program in 2014 at Magic Kingdom at Outdoor Vending. Absolutely love the experience and I am a recruiter for college and international programs. That is great. So first things first, we are gonna talk about the Disney College program. What is the Disney College program? Brittany is going to tell us all about that experience and what you guys have to expect. Absolutely, so the Disney College program has been around for over 40 years, changing my life, Cortland's life, and I'm assuming yours as well too. Yes. When people think of the Disney College program, they just think about working here at Walt Disney World. While that is true, there's a lot of other components that come with the program. We have living, learning, and earning. So the first one being living, you have an opportunity to live at Flamingo Crossings Villages, and let me tell you, Bethany, it is amazing. From the 12,500 square foot gym to the resort style swimming pools to the fully furnished apartment, right it really truly has it all uh, my personal favorite thing about the living component is the relationships and the people that you're gonna meet uh, I became lifelong friends with my roommate who is completely by chance and random ended up being my bridesmaid in my wedding last year so you truly are gonna meet some amazing people um, and the relationships that you build are just uh, incredible too so when it comes to the learning aspect this is one of my favorite parts of the program I think it's so unique and so different it really makes our Disney College program stand out so we have learning opportunities because we know that everyone's at a different place, has different passions, and is looking to pursue different paths after the Disney College program. So we have instructor-led offerings, experiential learnings. We really want you to see behind the magic and the brand. And uh, so there's lots of opportunities. I encourage anyone to take part in those while they're here on the program. And then finally, and I think probably one of the most important aspects and one of the most people think about is the earning component, which is where you're going to be working at Walt Disney. New World here in Orlando, Florida, which is pretty incredible. So lots of roles that you could be placed in from uh, food and beverage to custodial to merchandise to attractions, not just at our theme parks, but at resorts and Disney Springs. So uh, there is nothing better than making those magical moments. And uh, one of those aspects is one of my favorite components of the program is that guest service piece. So those just a little bit about the Disney College program. There's so much more an incredible experience for sure. So it sounds like you can really take all these offerings and tailor the college program experience to what you need and what you want it to be to help start your career at Disney. Cortland, can you tell us about the eligibility requirements and who can join the college program? Okay, so to be eligible to do the college program, you must be 18 years or older at the time that you apply for the program. You must also um, attend an accredited university, college, or educational institution. And then also uh, you must have be in the institution or have graduated within 24 months. And also I would like to note that uh, you wanna make sure that you have at least completed one semester um, at that school or institution before you can arrive on the program and then you'll be good from there. Awesome, so we know the what and what the Disney College program is. We know the who, and who's eligible. Can you tell us about the how? What are the steps to apply for the Disney College program? Absolutely, so first, I'm glad everyone's watching this to learn a little bit more about the Disney College program. However, there's other engagement opportunities before they can even apply just to learn a little bit more about the Disney College program. So okay. we would encourage them to sign up for one of our engagement offerings, which is get to know the Disney College program, which are uh, three times a week to learn a little bit more before the application goes live. So you can find the application whenever our recruitment season starts for each season, whether 
it's fall or spring on disneyprograms.com. Okay. When the application goes live and this is the right time for you to apply, we would encourage them to go uh, complete the application. That's the first step, probably most important, right? After that, right. Uh, they're gonna receive an email, I would say within 24 hours of uh, submitting their application for a web-based interview. Okay. We're gonna go over some tips I know later on in regards to the web-based interview, but if you're successful with that web-based interview, the next step would be a phone interview with one of our members of our recruitment team. So that process sounds pretty simple, but this web-based interview, could you tell us a little bit more about that, Cortland, and maybe some tips and advice for future candidates? Awesome. So the web-based interview is basically an interview online. It's a virtual interview. Um, you'll get a communication for that interview. Once you get that communication, you have to complete it within 72 hours. Um, some tips for you. Um, take it seriously as if it's just a regular interview. You want to make sure that it's a quiet area. You have stable internet connection. Mm -hmm. um, you want to make sure that you're consistent with your questions and your answering. Um, take a deep breath. You'll do fine. That is really good advice for your web-based interview. So let's say everyone takes Cortland's advice, you successfully complete your web-based interview. What tips do you have for the phone interview? Is it sort of similar advice and tips to complete that successfully too? Yes, absolutely. It's virtually the same thing. You want to make sure you take it seriously. You know, um, it is a phone interview, so they can't see you, but they can hear your excitement. They can hear your joy. They want to learn your experience. Um, they're there just to learn about you and your passion for the company or your um, school experience. Just be yourself. Um, they just want to see you succeed. Okay, let's dive a little bit deeper into that. When do you recommend someone considers applying to the Disney College program in their educational journey? Yeah, that's a great question. I get that quite a bit. So I would say it looks different for everyone. Uh, so my first recommendation would be to talk to your advisor, your career service team. If you're interested in coming down to the Disney College program, it's really important that you speak to them first because we always recommend no more than two online courses when you're coming down to do the Disney College program. Besides school, obviously make sure it fits within your personal uh, calendar as well too. I think that's really important uh, because on average, it's about four to seven months that you're down here for our program. Cool, so you have successfully completed your web-based interview, you have successfully completed your phone interview, and now you have an official Disney College program offer in your hands. What do we have to do for participants to accept that offer and start their journey to the college program? If you're selected to join us on a Disney College program, there's a three-step um, acceptance process. So the first step is, of course, accepting your, uh, your offer, and you have seven days to accept that. You also have paying your program participation fee, um, which you also have to do that within that seven days. And then within that seven days, you have to take care of uh, your arrival and your departure dates. You want to make sure you select those and be mindful of things like if you have a graduation or if you have any events you need to do, be mindful of that when selecting those dates. But after that, you receive additional communication to ask for more information and you also will be welcome to um, an engagement session as well. So you mentioned this program participation fee. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, Cortland? So upon acceptance of your offer, um, you will pay a program participation fee, which is non-refundable. Okay. Um, and then from there, uh, if you select to live in housing, just to note, it's not a requirement to live in housing, but if you do select to live in housing, you will pay a housing fee that will cover a portion of your housing costs for your first week, and you'll receive that six weeks prior to your arrival. Bethany, I would like to add, if someone doesn't get accepted this go round, or maybe just the program dates don't work for them this season, we would ask them to wait six months and then we'd encourage them to apply again for a fall or spring season. That's really great advice too. So just keep in mind, this dream is within reach for you. If you really want to be on the Disney College program, keep trying. Don't give up on it. All right. Well, you guys asked and we answered this first episode of Ask Disney Programs. We really hope we'll give you guys some great tips and advice so that you can get on your way to being on a Disney College program. And we can't wait for you guys to apply and begin this journey. Be sure to keep an eye on our socials and our YouTube channel for more episodes of Ask Disney Programs.